Hello everyone, in this video we will see what is percentage complete field type and how can we create it in ServiceNow. So we can use percentage complete field to set the completion percentage for a task or a project in a form and then see that percentage displayed as a progress bar in a list. So like you can see in the screenshot, we created one custom field called completeness and then we can set of this field using any logic. For example, if the state of the problem has changed from new to assigned then we can make it complete as 20 percent and then so on and if it has resolved or closed completely then we can make it 100 percent this will show the progress of a ticket for the higher management that how much the task has been completed so let's quickly go to service now and see how can we create this percentage complete field and then we can use it in our reporting or to see it in a list view now we are in service now i'll go to problem table i'll click on all and I will right click on any of the headers and go to configure table and I will click on new and in the type I will select percent type and here you can see the type as percent complete and here I can give the column name as completeness and length can be anything and I will save this now I will write a business rule to update this ticket every time a problem ticket has been updated. Let's go to all. I'll right click here again and configure business rules. And I have already written one business rule called increment count which will update the completeness field type or field percentage 10% every time when a problem ticket is updated. And you can see here, I have used current dot u underscore completeness plus equal to 10. So every time we are updating this problem ticket before update, we will increment the count as 10%. In real case scenarios, you can use it in the state field. Whenever the state changes, you can move that percentage ahead, maybe 20%, 30% according to the business requirements. Now I will create a report. I'll type report and then go to create new now we can give the report name as problem completeness which is used to check the completeness of any problem or for the higher management they can see how much problem has been completed if you don't know how to create reports in detail please click on the top right corner and now i will select the table name as problem i'll click on next and next I can choose columns and I can select completeness and bring it on the right hand side and move it up it up and I'll click OK and I'll save this report and now you can see the completeness field here we can either update the any problem and then see what is happening actually here so I'll copy this problem number I'll go to problem table again and I'll try to update something in this ticket and then we will see what is actually happening now for example I updated the subcategory and I'll go back to this report and I'll run this again and now you can see it has been updated to 10% automatically similarly every time I update this it will be updated automatically for example I add a s here and then I'll run this again it will be 20% either I can go into the list view and update this if I update it to 30 it will actually be 40 after updating because it is also an update and if it is 90 for example for this close ticket it will be 100 now now if we want to add some colors to this percentage for example if it is less than 50 percent make it red color and 50 to 90 percent make it yellow or khaki color and if it is more than 90 percent make it green color so let me try changing percentage of this particular problem to maybe 50 and it will be updated to 60 and now I will go to the field completeness which we created 
through configure table and I'll search for that and I'll go into the field and I can click on the advanced view and in the attributes I can paste this particular line of code where it says target field equal to percentage complete target and the threshold colors are 0 to 50 is tomato color till 90 it's khaki and after that it's light green and I'll update this and I'll go back to report and I'll try to run this again and you can see these colors have been automatically changed based on the percentage we had defined in the attributes. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching the video and please do subscribe to my channel.